What's up guys, welcome back to another video where we're gonna be looking at a car collection. Today we're talking about Daniel Craig, a very famous British actor who you guys will all probably know as James Bond. <laughs> Daniel Craig is, as I said, an English actor. He was born on the 2nd of March, 1968. He is the sixth actor to have played the role of James Bond in the very, very famous movies, which most likely you have pretty much all seen. His first role as James Bond was in Casino Royale. Then there was Quantum of Solace, Skyfall, Spectre, and another film which will be coming out supposedly later this year. Super excited to see. I'm excited to see what cars they'll have in it because there's always exciting cars in the James Bond films. But we'll be getting to that in a second. He is the son of Timothy John Routon Craig, who was a Marine, and Olivia Williams, who is an art teacher. I'm sure a large female audience will say that the art teacher created art in Manuel Craig. He is a popular man with the ladies. Let's think. First of all, the dude is James Bond. I mean, does it get any kind of cooler than that? Second of all, he's in de pretty decent shape. He moved to London at 16 years old to join the National Youth Theatre, and that's kind of when his career as an actor started. So yeah, he started really early, always kind of knew he wanted to go into that industry. In 1992, you know, he had his first steps in cinema and with a film. 1996, he had his first role in a small mini-series, Our Friends in the North, it was called. 1998, he won the British Performing Award at the International uh, Edinburgh Film Festival. That was for his role in Love is the Devil. And in 2001, he became a jury, actually, in the 12th uh, British Film Festival. So basically, he was nailing it from a very early age. I mean that in a work way. Ooh, pick your own grave, Seb. Go. Now, after having actually played alongside Angelina Jolie in Lara Croft's Tomb Raider, which I'm sure was very hard for him to play that role alongside Angelina Jolie, poor Daniel. Must have been a tough day at the office. He continued his work afterwards in the state, where he actually played the role of a gangster. So right, he was on the other side of the page. Rather than being James Bond, Mr. Good Guy, running up to the bad guys, he was now the gangster. He worked with the likes of Steven Spielberg and a lot of other very well-known actors and directors before entering the realm of James Bond. And that's what kind of propelled him to a different stratosphere and allowed him to make a ton of money. His reported net worth is $160 million. So Daniel Craig is very financially stable and can afford to have himself a really rather tasty car collection. However, even if that is the case, he is very, very discreet with his car collection. So it's so hard to know what he actually has. However, he has been given reportedly a lot of cars through films and different partnerships, which we'll talk about now, um, which he would have. So does he have other cars alongside these? Very hard to know because he's always been super discreet with them. The first we're gonna talk about is one that you probably were not expecting. It is a Ford Mondeo 3. It's featured in one of the James Bond movies and uh, yeah, he's probably been given one since. There is not too much else I can really tell you about this car. You know, it's a five door classic. I mean, it's a Ford Mondeo. It's a lovely car, perfect daily, great, great car. Now, is it what you'd expect James Bond to be driving around in? Probably not. Maybe the next car is kind of more up that street. Here's a Jaguar XJ, the old face Jags, which I think looks great. Supercharged V8, awesome looking thing, sounded great. Complete gas guzzler, super comfortable inside, and just there's something classy about those. And as you can tell, he was also turning up to a pretty astounding and pretty classy house on Lake Como, I believe that is. Uh, and I mean, how James Bond? Italian plate Jaguar XJ in a mansion on Lake Como. Yes. Things are not stopped there with the association of Jag and James Bond because a Jaguar XJ L this time, new face long wheelbase car was used also in one of the films and actually we're going to go to some OG Shmi 150 videos here um, to see the so Shmi 150 car youtuber and back in the day did a lot of car spotting that's what I want to enjoy this with you that text is unreal what an intro what an intro I mean legendary stuff that so many memories I brought back from this intro. Shmi 150 with the white contour, the purple writing. This was a 1 minute and 49 second video, basically just showing 
the jag being filmed. Now, now, once you've seen this, you can't unseen it, unsee it when you watch movies. I always thought these guys were insane, you know, driving, acting, how were they getting the shots? And then when you see this, you realize it's all a lie. <laughs> We've been lied to. They were on the back of a trailer. It's another car that's doing the driving. And Daniel Craig will be sat in that car, not actually driving, focusing on his acting. And he actually, as you can see, has all those kind of lighting effects in front of him. So he can't actually see anything in front of him. So it must be a weird sensation, like pretending that you're driving when all you have in front of you is basically a white bed sheet. Oh, Shmi 150. I missed this kind of Shmi 150 video. So where do we go from here? Of course, we go to Aston Martin, the company which is so closely linked with the James Bond series. And one of the first that Daniel Craig was actually involved in, there was the DBS. So the first gen DBS. So it's basically a pumped up on steroids version of the Aston Martin DB9. So V12 naturally aspirated, available in manual with kind of like a robotic looking uh, gear shift. It's so, so cool. Looks fantastic. And when this featured in the James Bond film with Daniel Craig in a suit, I mean, the epitome of class, basically. These cars are it's some of the last Aston V12s made with the manuals. I believe the last one actually the V12 Vantage S's, and now a couple one-offs that have come out, but production cars. So they're holding their value really well, and reportedly, Daniel Craig, after filming, was actually given one of the film cars that was used for the recording of the James Bond movie. That is quite a nice gift after filming. We then actually move on to one that I was lucky enough to go in, which is the Aston Martin DB10, which was a car which was developed specifically for Aston Martin, was never actually a production car. I believe they only actually made about 10 to 15 of these, crashed a bunch of them. And a lot of the design language of these actually came through to the Aston Martin Vantage that we know and love today. But when this car first came out, I mean, so good looking. And I was lucky enough to sit in one, have a ride in one, actually funny enough, with Shmi 150 at an event. I remember there was one of my favorite YouTubers there um, and I, he sat next to me at this event and I never had the guts to go up and say hi. And I re I've regretted it ever since. So if ever you're in that situation, Please take the decision and do it. Go see the person that's next to you. Say hi, just let them know. Because, uh, yeah, I regret doing that now. Anyways, that has nothing to do with this. DB10, um, you know, the one I went in, for example, didn't even have an interior. Most of them didn't really have interiors because there was no point developing an interior to basically just crash some of the cars afterwards. So, very good looking car. Never actually made into production. Does he have one sat in his living room as kind of a collector's item? I don't know. Now, one car that is a collector's item that he does actually reportedly have in his collection is one of the original Aston Martin DB5s, James Bond DB5. So reportedly, three of these were made for filming. Um, you know, they're maybe not the exact ones that were used, but that have all the James Bond gadgets, like the guns, the buttons, the whole lot, basically. They are so good and arguably some of the most iconic and famous cars in the world. And there is a strong rumor that Daniel Craig, with his $160 million, actually bought one of these and has it in a collection somewhere. The only thing we can compare that to value-wise was recently at an RM auctions. Uh, there was one completely um, kind of renovated, renovated, is that the word? Renewed? No, there is a specific word. And that word is restored, nailed it. A completely restored version on that was sold for $6.4 million. Now, that is a lot of money and normal DB5s go for a lot less, but it is one of the most famous movie cars of all time. And it's an Aston Martin DB5, which is one of the greatest classics of all time. So good looking and just an epic, epic car. So hopefully Daniel Craig has one because that would just be, I mean, imagine you're just going about your Tuesday morning driving to work and Daniel Craig comes up at the lights next to you in a, an original James Bond Aston DB5. One of the coolest things you could ever see on the road. So I really hope that's the case. I really hope that has actually happened. And apart from that, we don't really have, ah, yes, no, one last car, Range Rover. Range Rover Sport that Daniel Craig was reportedly given since Range Rover is also associated a lot with James Bond as an English car maker originally. And he was actually in the ad and he was the face of the ads for the Range Rover Sport of that period. So he was reportedly given one. Through this video, effectively, all I'm saying is Daniel Craig has a ton of money and has been given most of his cars. Does he have another larger collection? We don't know. Uh, he's very, very private with it, potentially, but at least it's not public knowledge. There we go. You were tons to ask for Daniel Craig as a video for the next celebrity a car collection. Comment down below any celebrity you'd like us to talk about next and we'll be doing just that in two weeks time so thanks for watching this video i hope you really enjoyed it please subscribe down below and i'll see you again very soon cheers and bye bye